Welcome to my channel ITCSE with Sadaf. In this video, we are going to solve exam paper from Human Biology. The paper is taken from January 2019. Paper 1. Let's start. Question number 1. A. The body responds to the change in room temperature. Which row of the table shows what happens when there is increase in the room temperature? As you know, if there is increase in the room temperature, then sweat production will be increased and less urine will be produced to retain the water in the body. So correct answer will be sweat production increases and urine production decreases so option a will be the right answer question b which of these secrete antibodies options are lymphocytes phagocytes platelets red blood cells lymphocytes are the types of white blood cells that release antibodies yes phagocytes are the types of white blood cells which engulf and kill the pathogens so it's wrong platelets help in blood clotting along with fibrinogen it's wrong as well and red blood cells they transport oxygen around the body with the help of hemoglobin so it's wrong also so correct option is option A, lymphocytes. Question C, which statement describes, describes the structure of DNA? The number of adenine and cytosine bases are equal. The number of thiamine and cytosine bases are equal. The number of adenine, guanine, cytosine and thiamine bases are equal. The number of guanine and cytosine bases are equal. So as we know that cytosine base pair up with guanine and adenine base pair up with thiamine. So first option saying adenine and cytosine bases are equal that is wrong. Number of thiamine and cytosine bases are equal that is also wrong. The number of adenine, guanine, cytosine and thiamine bases are equal. That's also wrong. It's not necessary that all these bases are equal. The last option says that number of guanine and cytosine bases are equal. Yes, because they pair up with each other. So these bases are equal in number. So option D is the right answer. Question D. The diagram shows a human cheek cell. Which cell component is the site of aerobic respiration? Option C is showing nucleus. Option B is showing mitochondria. Yes, as we know, mitochondria is the site of aerobic respiration. So it must be mitochondria. D is showing cell membrane. And A is cytoplasm. So, option B is definitely the right answer, mitochondria. Question E, why it is necessary for human cells to contain many different enzymes? Option A, Many different enzymes many enzymes are affected by inhibitors. Option B enzymes have different optimum pH levels. Option C enzymes catalyze at different rates. Option D each enzyme catalyzes one type of reaction. Many enzymes are affected by inhibitors. It's not correct. Enzymes have different optimum pH levels. It is not the exact option. Enzymes catalyze at different rates. 
each enzyme catalyzes one type of reaction that is the best option like if there is lipase lipase will act on substrate lipids if there is amylase amylase will act on uh, carbohydrates similarly peptidases will affect on polypeptides so each enzyme catalyzes one type of reaction that's why our human cells need different types of enzymes question f the diagram shows some of the bones of the shoulder and the arm let us see what are the bones so bone one is showing scapula bone two is showing humerus bone three is radius and bone bone four is ulna so bone one is scapula bone two is humerus bone three is radius bone four is ulna you have to learn these names so option b is the correct option what is the function of semi circular canals in the ear semi semi circular canals are best for maintaining balance of the body equalizing pressure no involved in hearing no transmitting vibrations no so maintaining balance is the best option question number h which statement describes which statement correctly describes tooth decay option a plaque plaque eats tooth enamel no plaque does not eat tooth enamel digested food dissolves tooth enamel no it's not by digested food no it is not due to digested food respiration of glucose by bacteria dissolves tooth enamel exactly because when the bacteria feed on the waste products or the food debris in the mouth they respire and due to their respiration the glucose the respiration of the glucose actually dissolves the tooth enamel oxygen produced by bacteria reacts with enamel it's also wrong so option c is the best option question number i which types of molecules contain the element carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen so all these elements are present in proteins right carbohydrate contains only carbon hydrogen oxygen enzymes are a type of proteins so yes this is uh, the right option fatty acids are the parts of fats oils are also the types of lipids or fats so these are the wrong options so option b is the correct option question j which type of neurons carry nerve impulses from spinal cord to muscle let us see the structure of neuron in this picture we can see three dif different types of neuron sensory neuron relay neuron and motor neuron the neuron that carry enough impulses from central nervous system to muscle is motor neuron so so which type of neuron carries the nerve impulse from spinal cord to the muscle it is motor neuron 